Hi everyone, just type a Y in the text chat if you can hear me. Yeah, Lily can hear me, excellent. Okay, so welcome to today's free webinar on the, dealing with the subconscious mind, with the blocks and all, to help you work with your conscious mind, everyone. So how are we all feeling today? Okay, yep, so I guess everyone's a bit more shy today. So no worries, we'll just get this up straight on the way. Now, just type a Y in the text chat if you are familiar with the subconscious and the conscious mind. So type Y if you have some kind of idea or you know what it is. And type an N if you haven't. So yep, Sachi not, has an understanding, yep. Okay, yep, excellent. So people have like an understanding, yep. All right, so now, I mean, uh, the way you can picture it is this. So you've got the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. Now, the problem is that mo what most people don't know is that the two are meant to work together as one. Because the way that you can think of it is like an iceberg. So you've got the surface area, which is the conscious, which is the conscious mind. And the conscious mind that basically is the surface, what you see. But then the subconscious is what's hidden underneath. So the rest of the iceberg, the 90% or so. Because, I mean, uh, uh, whatever your conscious mind is feeding your subconscious mind is directly linked with what is going on in your outside world. So if you're manifesting toxic relationships or you're manifesting financial struggles and challenges and things that you don't actually want, then it simply means that your subconscious mind is not being fed the right energy food or the right conscious thoughts. So when it, so when it comes to your conscious mind, it, think of it like a CD and a movie projector. So with the movie projector, um, that, that's what will project it onto the screen and what will project it into your outside world. Because every minute, every hour, every second of the day, we are always manifesting since the conscious and the subconscious mind work together whether you are aware of it or not so i mean if you put if you put a cd for say star wars into a movie projector you're not going to expect it to play shrek or some other movie or if you planted an apple seed you're not going to get oranges you'll get apples so it's just like that with the subconscious and the conscious mind so instead of like feeding your conscious mind with, with, with stuff, with your subconscious mind with things like, oh yeah, I, I, can't, like, I can't afford it. Or like, I can't do this, I can't do that. Start by, start by making that mind shift, mindset shift. And it can, be, it can be little. Like instead of saying, I can't do it, you can say like, I can do it. And then you basically live as if you're doing it, no matter how hard it gets. Because uh, really the way we grow is through challenges and challenges are what help us to grow and accelerate because we're born naturally to evolve and to grow, not be stagnant and not be the same kind of person. So if we're the same person we were like 20 years ago or so, then really we've learned nothing. So it means that you just simply need to start growing, making that shift, going inside, and really just dealing and facing with the th with your stuff rather than burying it or like pushing it away or using a coping mechanism because we view people use all kinds of things for, to cope with what's going on in the subconscious whether it's alcohol or sex or drugs overeating using or even using their intellect to rationalize and intellectualize the emotions so really whatever is going on in, in your subconscious mind is directly linked with how with what's going on in your outside world because the subconscious mind is simply a servant to your conscious mind it only does what it is told so as you can imagine whatever you're telling your subconscious mind with your conscious mind is what will keep manifesting into your life And even, and even science has backed this up as well. So science has really said, has, has explored on, on this area, on the subconscious and the conscious mind as well, and the etheric healing. So guys such as Dr. Joe Dispenza, Carl Pribham, and 
and Amit Goswani and several different scientists have confirmed this and they have backed this up. And uh, even and even Michael Talbot in his book, The Holographic Universe, has stated that things don't actually exist until they're observed. So really, the, the computer I'm using that in front of me to do this webinar and whatever device that you're using to listen to this webinar, it only exists because you believe it to be. You believe that in your subconscious mind and in your conscious mind. And this is how Jesus and all the yogis and all the great masters were able to do great miracles. Because rather than seeing the blocks and, and rather than seeing the blocks as stuck there and that they can't be changed, they instead, they instead made that shift and saw that it can be cleared out. It can be pulled out and drawn out. And that's how like they can walk on water and levitate in the air, that kind of thing. Okay. So does anyone have any questions or comments before we get into the energy clearing? Yep. So no one has any questions or comments. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll do the energy clearing for your subconscious mind. So everyone just focus on this code. And what I want you to do now is to imagine this code in your subconscious mind and your conscious mind as well. Imagine it in both together as one and just imagine it there and close your eyes. Just start taking deep breaths and relaxing your mind. We now call upon the divine protection and the bright white pyramid surrounding me and each person here. And we call upon the five archangels, Uriel, Gabriel, Raphael, Michael, and Metatron and Christ and mother Mary. So only those who are aligned with the word of God and the Christ consciousness. And we clear and repel any false spirit guides, negative energies, outside interferences or anything else related now. It is commanded by the laws of the golden liquid realms and our chemical powers that this energy clearing code be used to clear any negative programming and conditioning from each person here in their subconscious mind and from and from their conscious mind feeding the subconscious. We also clear any blockages and imprints and stored trauma in the subconscious and release it from each person here on all levels and all dimensions and all chakras now to Asia in today. We also clear out any negative thoughts and voices going around in the, in there. We now provide a third order escort to escort any discarnates to the astral planes justly earned now. Contain any that resist and transport them to the astral planes justly earned now. And we now activate each person's subconscious mind and conscious mind to work together as one. 
and to help them to feed the subconscious mind with better thoughts, better energy food and better language and programming and rewire their brain, repattern and reprogram it to its original blueprint now. So, and we also clear any occupants or ids from there, and bring back their golden soul fragments. We also clear any dark clouds or veils over the subconscious and conscious mind as well. And, and heal up any layers that have been damaged there, any etheric layers. And we now pour in the golden liquid light and send in the love from the father and the higher councils. And we now rebalance each person's subconscious and conscious mind as well, and really bring it into balance and clear any fears, nervousness, anxieties, or anything else from it as well. And strengthen them, strengthen them, Lord, and fill them with your love. We also cut and sever any cords in the mind. So any draining energy cords, etheric cords or compassionate connections uh, and any other dark energies as well. And evaporate them with the golden liquid light. Okay, so how's everyone feeling after that clearing? Okay, I guess everyone's quiet then today. So now main thing everyone is to just drink plenty of drink plenty of water and get a good night's sleep tonight. All right, so does anyone have any questions or comments before we end for today? Okay, no final questions or comments. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Lily said something. I feel more present after the clearing. Thanks, William. Yeah, excellent, Lily. That's that's really great. 
It's because that's what's the great thing with the clearing as well. Clearings also help you to be, be more present and not so stuck in the non-existent future or in the past kind of thing. So, yeah. So, yeah, no questions or comments. Well, thanks everyone. Another great webinar, another great session, and I'll see you all next week. Bye for now.